Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and once again I'm demoing an add-on for the Industrial Craft 2 mod called Advanced Machines Version 2. It's an add-on created by Zippinus. Um, it's available on the Industrial Craft 2 forums. And in one of my videos, I've featured for you the Induction Furnace, which is an upgrade to regular furnaces that basically cooks multiple things at once and uh, can cook them very quickly, uh, provided they, uh, there's an advanced, there's a current applied to it and all this cool stuff. Um, basically what Zippinus added for us was advanced versions of some of the other machines available in Industrial Craft, specifically the compressor, which I haven't shown you guys yet, but it's a straightforward machine that creates items used for other uh, purposes. The extractor, which you saw, uh, extracts rubber uh, from resin. And the macerator, which you saw in one of my videos, uh, macerates ore and uh, makes things, uh, pretty much doubles your income from mining. So let's get cooking on crafting some of these items. Um, you can see here, if I bring up the interface, you basically need an advanced machine block, the original version of the item, and you need to surround it with something. In the case of the extractor, it's an electrolyzed water cell. Uh, you're going to want to look on the wiki how to make electrolyzed water cells. Not too difficult. Um, obsidian for the compressor, and refined iron for the macerator. So, macerator, and refined iron gives us a rotary macerator. The extractor, using the electrolyzed water cells, gives us a centrifuge extractor. And the compressor, with some obsidian, gives us unnamed, which is actually the um, singularity compressor, which is uh, it's only unnamed here due to a bug in the code, but it works just fine. And just like the induction furnace, all these machines can be hooked up to um, medium voltage current. So why don't we knock this guy off here, grab ourselves a little bit of fiber optic cabling, and hook these guys up and see how they work. I'm also going to give myself some levers, because just like the induction furnace, um, you can use a lever to keep these things powered up. So, one, two, three. And you can see the cabling all runs to these guys. So here we've got the rotary macerator. It's got a speed setting. And if we apply a redstone current, it turns on and ramps up its speed. The centrifuge extractor also has a speed setting. And we can turn it on to increase its speed. And the singulator, singularity compressor has a pressure setting. And of course, No good at putting down levers. There we go. Um, by activating a redstone current, you get some pressure building up. So why don't I let these guys build up all their speed and pressure, and I'll be back shortly once they've fully charged up to their uh, respective settings. I'll be back. While those guys are building up their speed, I'm going to show you real quick here. Um, if you place four pieces of tin, you get an empty cell, which is something I featured in one of my prior episodes. Add a bucket of water, you get a water cell. And I'm just crafting those because I want something to put in my compressor. I don't think I've shown you guys compressors yet. Um, you can also take some bronze and some tin and lay it out like this. Bronze, tin, and refined iron will give you a mixed metal ingot. Um, you'll compress these in a compressor to create um, the items required for advanced machines as well as um, refined reinforced doors, reinforced um, stone and glass, which are right around here somewhere. There we are, reinforced glass and stone. Uh, you're going to need these mix, mixed metal ingots for. So I'm basically preparing to show you guys how well these machines operate. Um, I know you haven't seen the compressor working yet, but just imagine it works about as slowly as a macerator or extractor does. Okay guys, you can see now my rotary macerator is maxed out at 10,000 RPM. Same for the centrifuge extractor. And the Singularity Compressor is at 100,000 pressure gibble, is a uh, unit in industrial craft. So, let's check out that rotary macerator, shall we? Iron ore goes in. Oh, much quicker. Isn't that great? Anybody who used the original macerator knows that if you put a full stack of iron ore into the original macerator, it only has one output slot and would quickly fill up to 64 units using only half of the stack of iron ore here. So the upgrade to the rotary macerator, while only processing one piece at a time, is definitely much faster and can process an entire stack at once, which is great. 
the centrifuge extractor much quicker and anyone who used a regular extractor for a full stack of sticky resin would know that it filled up rather quickly because you get three rubber per sticky resin. So one third of a stack would fill up the extractor and it would need to be output uh, somewhere or manually emptied. In this case it's going to go ahead and uh, put things in three separate stacks for you so it runs much quicker and is able to store a full stack worth of items. And finally the singularity compressor. If you place water cells in here you get a snowball. That's pretty cool. Uh, same with a regular compressor, water cell equals snowball, just much slower. And I think snowball gives you a block of ice. So that's a little tip for you guys. Uh, you can also put your mixed metal ingots in there to get your advanced alloys. So again, these machines use more power, but work much more quickly than their uh, counterparts, the tier 1 version of the machines. But they are not available in the standard industrial craft. You need to download the add-on, which the link to the add-on in the forum post can be found in the comments of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and take it easy.